Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really exciting video because for the first time in seven years, we're redoing this bedroom. Not everything is the best of quality in here, but it sufficed for the last few years. I just kind of want it to be a nice relaxing place that I can sit, enjoy and find comfortable. So without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see, this is our king size bed. It is a divan, which Luna has very much destroyed. As we were trying to go for cheaper, we didn't get storage. So it is literally just a block divan. We had to get a separate headboard for it, which is all right, but it's not very sturdy. Luna loves to scratch it. We got some very cheap, bedside tables from Amazon which at the moment only Chris has a bedside table because we recently got a cat bed for Luna and we put it on this side because Luna seems to love sleeping in this corner I don't know if it's because she's next to me because she's away from the door or whatnot but because of this I can't have a bedside table but I do like having her next to me at night the next thing is this big humongous tv this tv was downstairs in our living room it doesn't work so it just sits here and sometimes you can get like the first two three channels to work but it's like proper analog not good so gonna get rid of this got these these little trinket boxes for storage nothing too exciting socks in here more socks in here need to probably go through that even things like the bedding this is not my taste anymore i used to have this thing where i loved shabby chic and i still like it to some extent but i'm more into like retro with a modern twist so that's kind of like the theme we're going for with the new bedroom and then over on this side we've got my wardrobe which i do love this wardrobe it is an antique so the people who owned this house previously left it for us. So this is definitely staying. And then finally, we've got my dressing table here, which is basically way too big for me. I rarely use it. It used to have a mirror that went with it. Luna jumped on it and broke it and it wasn't fixable. And when I look to get a replacement mirror, to get a replacement mirror costs more than actually buying a new dressing table got this chandelier which I'm not the biggest fan of and I have another chandelier that I might replace it with so it's going to be a whole project the theme we're going for is emerald green and navy with a touch of grey white and neutral colours and I might even bring in dusty pink the thing that obviously sparked us doing the bedroom was the bed that meant we had to buy a new mattress our mattress was old anyway so bought a new vice spring mattress i did so much research this is the mattress i got it is something between spring and hybrid memory foam and all these things mixed together there is no memory foam in it but it's meant to feel like a combination of everything got some ideas of the emerald paint i want to have and then the rest of the walls i want to be white three weeks later look at him full in action <laughs> ready to change this place up look how nice the room is now it's all empty vibes empty vibes and you guys picked a good day for it as well because it's like nice and sunny today wow. yeah so what's the plan then Kira? we're going to do green wall here green ceiling yeah what are these called alcatraz coving but yeah coving coving Covid. Covid. So both Covid. Yeah. Covid nineteen. All See, Kirill had the suggestion that this Covid, the lip thing, to be green, and I think that would be nice. So let's go green. My actual vision was actually to knock this wall through, put some supports here, some stills, knock it open through into the other room. Then you have a massive ensuite in the other room, and then this will be the bedroom here, knock this room through. They lose a bedroom, but who cares? They're going to live here for the rest of their life anyway. They're not having kids. They only got pets. How do so, you know we're not having kids? They're not having kids. I know they're not having kids. 
They have their kids on their pets. So you didn't, you did our five year plan now. I'm, I'm doing a ten year plan here, man. No, twenty year plan. Twenty year plan. But, but yeah, so this. Carol, what I'm saying is this cobra. Oh. They're f <laughs> in a slash of bloody ankle. Yeah, like how he did his f hand. But Was it on this you you sliced your hand? No, angle ground is different. Oh, what is that? A sander? That one's a slicer. That's a saw. Do you know what? I can't, I can't stand up anymore. Okay. Uh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, we're just discussing start, something. I'm going to have to start sealing and corking. So what are you guys going to do with the floor? So all of this is going to come up, underlay is going to go down, and then new flooring is actually going to go down. So hopefully by the end of today, Hopefully see how long we can spend in this room. Hopefully shouldn't spend too long. Hopefully make a start on the floor so it'll look completely different. And but so I love the hipster edge, do you know what I mean? Like proper hipster vibes over here, you know. <laughs> this is proper East London carpet, you know, trust me. Okay, so Carol, the plan is green wall here, mm -hmm. green ceiling, mm -hmm. and do that colour. Draw your rose as well, green. Yeah, do the, the, do the rose thing, green. Nice. I'm going to give you some advice as well, you yeah. need a new light. Oh, I know, 100%. Um, that's why we didn't even move it because I don't care if it I'm going to put it in the bin yeah, and then you can have a pendant from there <laughs> and then you lot can sort yourselves out. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get a new light and then right. the only thing you need to move is that and that to go in the guest room. My advice to you, my advice to, to you green. is to paint this green, especially because it's already got an undercoat on it from before. Yeah, paint it green, paint it green. You need different paint. Wow. So this is a mistake lots of people make. If you get wood paint and you start painting normal wall paint onto wood, it screws it up and after a while it will start peeling and make it worse. So you need wood paint which makes it more durable. But you know what? Lazy though? painters. Carol, mum painted that. Perfect, good. Then go buy some more um, green paint and then you can paint it. And it Basi paint basically green. there's Wilco around the corner, there's B&Q, there's Wix. Just well then off you go. Off you go. Yo, you off I go to the hospital. You have four legs, I have two. So you can go quicker than me. Carol, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to the hospital in a minute. What That's the thing, they're actually coming to do the work while we go to the hospital because of all my allergies and stuff, it'll work out better. Possibly. I'm, the way I'm seeing it, I'm hoping there's not actually looking like there's going to be too much sanding here, which is good. So that's, yeah. good, that's good for this, you. All this on yeah. the wall, Carol, it's not mould, it's porous wall. But it still need blocking. Yeah. So you need to block it all up, which isn't a problem. So do you think you could paint the wardrobe green? If you had the paint. We've got the paint for the walls, but we don't have paint for the uh, wardrobe. To be honest, the cat's going to freaking scratch it up. I don't think there's any point to be honest. Yeah, but then that's, that's edgy. That's edgy. Like, if you've got a nicely fresh paint and over time it scratches and wears, now that's wear and tear. That's classy. I like that. So let's throw this challenge out to all you viewers. So what do you reckon the price of this job is going to cost? The person closest to it, Stella, unfortunately, is going to be giving you a gift. Okay, what that so gift is, I don't know, <laughs> giveaway, whatever it is. Maybe it's my jacket. Definitely don't want this jacket. This is hipster jacket. I'll give away Kirill's jacket for all his fans. <laughs> Absolutely not. This jacket has been with me from day dot, man. I remember my first ever job, I had this jacket so I could work in the What about your shop, trainers? So. They're nice trainers. These trainers are one of a kind. People kill me if they find out I'm using the Jankowski airs and battering them like this, man. Lovely <laughs> trainers. Kirill and my dad do this for a living. They do up houses and stuff. They do renovations. They do construction. What do you do? Anything. Ceiling, they do, I don't know, sanding, they do angle grind the stuff where you cut your hands and need surgery. Anything basically you need, <laughs> knocking walls down, uh, building extensions, basements, beams, whatever, beams. anything. anything stain, what are those beams, stainless beams? I have no idea what she's saying. This is why you need to stick to you. Anyway, so they're doing it all for free, and I said to him, he, he was like, How much are you going to charge me? And That's I said, incorrect. <laughs> she thinks it's for free, but it's absolutely not. He, nice. was, he was like, How much are you going to pay me? And I said, I said, I'll pay you in my happiness and gratification. And he was like, All right then. Alright, we're packing, packing up and going home soon. We're packing up and going home. This is done. I'm can I join you? Can I come fun, back? Man. Have fun. <laughs> What are you putting on the wall there, Carol? This here? Yeah. This is Zeno. What does that do? So it's, basically, it's basically shellac. What does it do though? Seal? It Seal. seals the wall where there's damp, so when you when you paint over it, those spots aren't going to come back. I see. Well, it could come back. Basically, we got porous brick because we live in England. There's lots of it though. There's some up here and here. And it annoys me so much, but I don't know. Hopefully, what Carol's doing is gonna help it. Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! What's up? What's up? <laughs> two worker men. Do you know what happens when they say two men working? What? Nothing gets done. Don't you guys want music or something? 
No, we want you out of the house and then we'll um, you We're leaving in half an hour after Chris makes your you coffee. You can't make it quick enough, can you? Nah. And she's gone. See you later, Stella. And she's gone. <laughs> Peace. So now step one is completed, sealing up all the damp patches, clearing out all the gaps. So everything's all filled in now. This is what it's gonna look like now, and you'll see what it looks like after it's changed. Damn. Yeah, the boss is back. Yep, we're back. The boss is back. How are you getting on? Oh no, none of your business. <laughs> none of your business. <laughs> so Carol wanted to film our reaction. It's not done yet, and sorry it's dark, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Come then, open the door. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Oh, sick. Look at this. Looks sick. Yeah. That is a bum green, you know. That is nice. The ceiling. And that was Carol's idea with the ceiling. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. Cool. It looks Lovely. Sick. I was thinking of it to make that little white. Which one? Cool. This one, white. Well, oh yeah, because of the, you're right, because of the wall. You've already got a green door and green thing. Carol's actually right. Carol's right. You're right. You right. Carol, you different. should be an interior designer. I wouldn't go that far. Tasha. Tasha's the man. Tasha's the man. But the, gr Tasha's the green looks everything. sick. Just be careful because I, it's I know, I know, and I've got nice clothes on. We can paint your clothes as well if you want, they can go green. Yeah, <laughs> even camouflage and all. That, that looks sick. It's good, really nice. Yeah. But it needs one more coat. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I meant the colour itself is nice. Yeah. Mm. And then obviously these will be white. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I'll pop more because look at the brightness of the white there. This is all the ceiling. So if you, you guys are wondering, this green is called Emerald Glade. Emerald Glade. Yeah. From Dulux. Dulux. Uh, that looks way yeah, better than I even thought. It looks really good. I like it. That's it's sick. Clean. Yeah. yeah that and then when the road. flooring goes down, it's going to look amazing. Make no mistake when I tell you now, you need a nice and then centerpiece. It's going to be like, like a proper Victorian. No, it looks nice. You need a proper nice centerpiece light. You have to like help me showpiece. find one. You need to have a nice showpiece, maybe gold, black, something like that. What about gold and pink? Gold and pink, gold and black. So but like, like dusty pink. Mm. All bars. Yeah, all pop. Oh, and the other thing we're struggling with is so because we're going to get the wooden floor in, what about a rug? We're looking at rugs. I think you got to put everything in the room first and see what Yeah, that's out. what I think. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Chris? How do you like it? It looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, how do you do the door? Do you do regular paint and then put gloss over it? Yeah. yeah this is like an undercover. I see. So how does how does the wardrobe work? You put regular colour and then you put a sealant over it? Well, yeah, that's going to have a colour. Yeah. I see. Because it's the exact colour of the, the rest of the day. Do you find it therapeutic to paint? Me, I don't mind. <laughs> Some people get that. Carol's face. <laughs> what, what's your favourite thing to do? Sealing, glossing? What's my favourite thing? When I get paid at the end. <laughs> <laughs> when you get paid, you Carol, get paid. Carol, I'll pay you smiles. <laughs> when you, when you get a paycheck at the end, then you realise what I'm saying. What I'll do is every, every time he looks at me, I'll go. That's it. Yeah? That's it. Yeah, I want to. And then you'll give me, you'll give me yeah. mouth wrinkles. I can't lie to you. I'd rather she never smile at me again. <laughs> Alright, so every time I look at it, I'll go. It's fine. As long as that money goes into my account, I'm good. <laughs> Then you will smile to the bank. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> what was the problem again with the walls here? That the, the What's walls the problem with the walls? Your walls are zigzag like that, so they're all over the place like that, so you can't get a straight line. So we thought of a strategy, but like I said, you'll see at the end what the strategy is going to be. Ah. And also up there at the top as well, you can see the walls going thing like that. But obviously, I'll put my second coat of green on. Mm. But we'll fix it, don't worry. No, it there's always a way. There's always a way. <laughs> it might not be the easiest, but there's always a way. Later. What's up guys, what's up? Chris told me I had to come up and look at it again. Come and look. I mean, we wouldn't even finish that. Chris not kept screwing up and painting over. Oh, 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 Chris said he was helping you a lot. No, I, I, out. I did not say a lot. Helping out. I just said what? I was helping out. You helped me out by screwing up my work. No, I actually did well. Did well. <laughs> it looks no, sick, it guys. Good. The white is looking good. It's looking good, isn't it? What's going on here? Or is that to fix tomorrow? No, it's fixed <gasps> Shoot. Up. So, I didn't plan to come up here, but then Chris told me to have a look, but it's looking amazing. It looks great, doesn't it? It looks really, really good. 
Once the floor comes in as well, it turns down the better. But also, the white already made it pop so much. Exactly, yeah. It's made it lighter. But it needs more coats of white, but the white's going to be more vivid. Yeah, definitely. The way it is now. But already earlier, like when I came up, it was great, and now with the white, it's already better. Oh, yeah, the green. But like, it just looks so good. I'm excited now. Are you doing the floor now? No, I'm just no, uh, I'm just good. So just you the good things you'll take a day to dry, so we'll yeah. famous good things for tomorrow to dry, so we'll be able to start from the Okay, so you come back tomorrow basically. We're planning to come back to all this year, but you don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up the floor in now. Well you rolled it and you're chucking it out to Chris, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. You I can see him there. Yeah, that's 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 one more, one more. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do we tell you, Chris? Always, always pay attention on site, yeah? <laughs> Alright, you look this time, you look this time. No trust. Uh, no trust. Yeah, all trust is lost, man. All trust is lost. Uh, one more? Score. Hold on, Chris. One more, one more. How many more? How many more? This is it for now. Oh, you didn't roll it up though. Nah, it's all right. Lay this one flat on top. Almost. Almost, almost. On the side. Oh, wow, nice covering. Step on it, Chris, now as well. So they're doing the skirting boards now. All these, pulling up the floor, and then tomorrow they're coming in to do the actual floorboards. Possibly, possibly that I'll do that. I'll start taking this off as well. You got another hammer? Wait, I don't want to break it, I want to put it on. Yeah, yeah, but they eventually will break anyway. So what do you pull that up for? Because this one's got uh, thingy grips, like, uh, see? Oh, it's for carpet? Yeah. I see. So, and when you put wood on the floor in... Here, here, this part there. Oh, this one here. Yeah. I'm going to watch this back and judge you now, Dad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, are you doing a good job? Don't know. Day two. We're back for day two. Day Already two. just touching up the straight lines. If you come and zoom in, you'll be able to see how perfectly straight these lines are. Bear in mind, this is a Victorian house with wallpaper and the walls are like all crooky and stuff, but you can see the perfectly straight line. The way I get to that is basically I get masking tape, put masking tape down, and then I use cork to fill in. Those of you that are in the trade will know what cork is. Those of you like that don't, you'll basically see within the house, you would sort of get areas where you've got holes or gaps or cracks, and you can fill it in with cork based to fill in imperfections. So you put that on, paint it, and then pull the tape, and then you get like a perfectly straight line like that. What's this that is what cork? the cork is. Like Dad that. really wanted to show people really <laughs> what cork is. I really wanted to show So, that. wardrobe, did you do the second coat on this yeah, shirt? Yeah, this is finished now. It's just literally going to have this top varnish, and that's it. But we need to move it out of the way to do the flooring. I see. The ceiling's looking nice. But yeah, it's looking really good. Really nice. Now they're moving the wardrobe to the other room. Because we need to do the bottom first to. Because they need to do the floor. The Watch for your head, Carol. This is my amazing outfit for today, guys. And I can't get dressed, because that's where my wardrobe is. Did you read your star sign today? Nope. So you don't know what your star sign is. Where'd you put the rest of the floor, Dad? Hmm? Where'd you put the rest of the floor? Oh. Oh, you check it out? Mm -hmm. I'll right, check this out as well. So that later. Chris getting ready for his job interview. Oh, oh <laughs> Yo, look at swaggy, you're tired, bro. Yeah. You look good. So this is basically what's going to happen now with the board. So later on, you get a much nicer finish when the board finishes inside here like that. 
Yeah, yeah it's going to be a yeah. much nicer finish. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll you see, see on yeah. this side here, this side hasn't been cut. Yeah. So I need to cut that side now. Oh, I see. So, so basically, it's when you snub yeah. Sort of yeah. So yeah. if you don't cut, you're going to get finish something like this, and then you've got like a gap yeah. like that. So this just finishes it off much nicer inside. Okay, cool. But you'll see it at the end. Nice yeah. finish, basically. Did you see the yeah. straight lines? Look how yeah. nice the lines are. Wow. You're a magician. Well, I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> so do you lay it out first, and then you see if it fits, and then you well, put it all down? Usually, I, the way I'll do it is I'll do it with a measuring tape. Measure it, measure the board, divide it, and you know exactly the pieces. But some people, like Dad, for example, he's more visual. Yeah. So he likes to physically see the boards, because he doesn't like maths. Mm. So he does it this way, whereas I'll do it with a measuring tape. But it, depends. Yeah. it still works out the same way. Exactly. Works out the same Can way. I do tap dancing on it? You do tap dancing? What do you want to tap dancing it for? I don't know, oh, she's, oh she's ruined the boards. She's ruined the boards. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can it handle the weight of my crutches, Dad? Do you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember when we were in Bulgaria in Julivo and you were doing the patio and me and Kira were laughing because you were going doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and we were doing Huron music in the background. <laughs> I'll get my tap dancing shoes later. You've got to get them to work Just for you. Now. Yeah, all right, we'll leave you guys yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> we actually get some work done and, on these uh, shoes. I'll, I'll come back later to uh, check your work. No worries, uh, boss. Okay. Do you guys want no a coffee, tea? I told you, Nando's. Get that Chris, they don't deliver. They don't deliver. Like Nando's. After your job interview, Chris, you bring in Nando's, yeah? <laughs> Trying to make friends with the cat. Hey, come in. Oh, oh. Yeah, good girl. Is it a girl or boy? I can't it's a girl. Remember. It's come Luna. In. Come here, boy. <laughs> come here, boy. Come here, boy. Mm. She's interested in you. She looks clean, though. Yeah, she's clean. Well, green cat. You guys put paint on our floorboards, look. So? Oh, <laughs> I'm scared of. One eternity later. It's looking nice. The floor's looking really nice. Good yeah. job, good job, guys. Here's where you want to look at. Well, I cut out earlier. Yeah, that looks nice. Really good. You know what I was telling you about what I was spending time Carol, that's a yoga pose right there. Yeah. It's called Malasana. Malasana. AKA yogi squat. Malasana, Malasana, Malasana. I like it. Exactly. I'm a special yoga now. Exactly. Now do a few more of those. Do a few more of those so that I'm going to be doing more work at all. Right now you're doing a fold, Carol. Forward fold. Hey. Special yoga, eh? Yeah. You're just right doing yoga is. without realizing. Yeah, you didn't know it. Without even knowing it exactly. Okay, and that's the bidding. Oh, that looks nice actually. Yeah, it makes it look super cohesive. It just gives it a nice, it a nice finish. Mm -hmm. And then you don't see like wiggly lines where you've been cutting and stuff. Exactly. That I bet this little piece was really difficult to cut. Yeah, that's all right. Cutting around the radiator takes a bit of time. Yeah, around the rate. Actually, you guys did a really good job around here. Six hours later. Don't throw it down there. Uh. They're putting the bed together, they're just throwing the box out the window, we'll sort oh, it out wow. later. If only, if, only, if only you're one more minute late, man. <laughs> <laughs> so keep you on the gift. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing. Oh, oh, wow. Chris just came back. Is that like um, This is the headboard? Is that sweat or something? It's a uh, canvas. Oh, it's one of these beds. Dead. You better call the big boss and tell her you're going to be late. Very late. She's not happy with you. And, uh, I'll have to call her and apologize. 
What's that, that dos? Oh, this is Chalak. Oh, is she filming? So, to all of her followers, yeah, this is literally me and my dad here being thirsty, dying for drinks, yeah. <laughs> Sell out and offer us nothing. Do you guys want a coffee? Do you guys want a coffee? Do you guys want a coffee? Do you know what she offered? She offered my dad to make her a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the bed is coming together nicely. It's putting the legs on. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm keeping him against his will. This is torture. <laughs> He's gonna show me how to put these boards on because these guys got to go. It's like coming up for 7:30 p.m. now. It's literally 12 hours solid work. We came here at 7:30. 7:30 now, 12 hours still going. Did you come here at 7:30 a.m.? I thought you came at 8:30, but you know, exactly. I don't really know the time. <laughs> so, go on, show me. Here's all your slaps. Mm -hmm. Let me twist the camera. Slap the black thing goes in here. Yep. Another one on the other side. And then what do you think happens with them? And then you Good. put them the where the things here. are. Large one. Large one. Oh, so are the two side ones smaller? Smaller, yeah. I see. That's what it is. So is that my job for tomorrow? That is your job for whenever you get time. Can I do this right? Is it, it doesn't matter which way around, does it? No. Of these. Okay, did that side. Gotta make sure it's the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this one goes in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can see the little holes. Man, stock. I see what you mean now. <laughs> there we go. Well done, 400 to go. <laughs> <laughs> this is my job for tomorrow. <laughs> yep, there you go. Quite fast. Come on, Chris. Halfway there, guys. Halfway there. Trust me, do you have any mistakes you've got to make? Like I said, if you're not failing, you're not succeeding. It's true. You've got to fail so many times before you succeed. Hey, look at that inspirational talk right there. Come on, man. I'm all about inspiration. Basically, he's thinking of starting up either his own gym or something he hasn't decided yet because he's got qualifications in sports science, am I right? Mm -hmm. Sports science and psychology. Yep, and uh, he's wondering what to do with that. Sure. Were you excited about the mattress? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> have you got one in your Just, pocket? Oh, thought, it's the last one, the last one. Wait, are you missing some of those black things? I'm missing one. What? No way. Are you kidding me? Just missing one. That is annoying. <sighs> Look, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to go, kid. Yeah. 2,000 years later. I'm going to end out this video. Watch out for part two where we put all the furniture together. Thanks, Carol, for coming to help him. Thanks, Dad. He's shy, but he's, he's all right. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Carol's advice on some curtains, lampshade, rug. The only advice you get from me is next time I come, yeah. if there are no new curtains, a new lampshade, a rug underneath it, I'm gonna throw red paint everywhere. Oh. Ruin all my work. Because if there's crappy curtains on, I'm not getting involved. That's why I said you'll pick them, won't you? You'll help me pick them. I have you pick them, I know. I'll tell you what it's very though. Very nice, he, I like it. The ceiling's my favourite. He 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 favorite. did have some good ideas. Like I was gonna leave the wardrobe white, he told me to paint it green. I was gonna have the ceiling white, he told me to paint that green. It was Kira's idea to do the floor because we were going to leave it carpet. So, what was your idea? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, idea? my idea well, was. Why is it? Wait till summer. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I picked this bed. I picked the wall colour, and that was it. All right, we're going to end up this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the Peace. next one. Bye.